Good afternoon. Today we have a case presentation of CA cervix. Uh, good afternoon everyone. This is a CA cervix case presentation. 70 year old female, para 3 living 3, sterilized, postmenopausal, hailing from Chennai from low socioeconomic status, came to OPD with chief complaint of abdomen pain since 2 months and complaint of occasional spotting since 2 months and complaint of fever, nausea, loss of appetite since 20 days and also complaint of weight loss over 1 month that is lost 5 kgs. And coming to history of present illness. Complaint of abdomen pain which is vague in nature, lower in region and sudden in onset, relieved on rest, it is non-radiating and it is increased on walking and complaint of spotting PV occasionally from 20 days and also complaint of ma mass descending PV, complaint of fever, nausea, lo loss of appetite since 20 days and there is no associated cough or sore throat and also loss of weight of 5 kgs over 1 month. Coming to menstrual history, she attained menopause uh, 15 years back, previously regular menstrual cycles of 3 days of bleeding on 28 day cycle, two, changing 2 pads per day not associated with clots or not associated with dysmenorrhea. Marital history, married for 45 years and non consanguineous marriage. Obstetric history, P1, girl 42 years, a normal de vaginal delivery, alive and healthy and P2, boy 40 years, normal vaginal delivery healthy and P3, girl 36 years, normal vaginal delivery healthy. Past history, there is no history of diabetes mellitus, hypertension, bronchial asthma, epilepsy or thyroid. Family history, there are no history of cancers in the family. And personal history, there is reduced sleep and loss of appetite and bowel and bladder are regular. On examination, patient is thin built, moderately nourished, conscious and coherent, height of 155 centimeters and weight 50 kgs, BMI 20.8. On examination, there is no paler, no icterus, no cyanosis, no lymphadenopathy, no edema. Temperature of 99 degrees Fahrenheit, BP of 130-80 mmHg and pulse rate of 86 beats per minute. On examination, thyroid is normal, spine normal, no scoliosis, breast normal. Cardiovascular system, S1, S2 sounds heard, no added sounds and respiratory system, normal vascular sounds heard. On parabdomen examination, inspection, no lump is seen. No ascites or no engorged veins are seen. On palpation, 20 weeks size mass is felt in the midline, irregular and then tenderness is uh, present. It is not a mobile and TAT scar is present. On local examination, genital uh, leukoplakia vulva is seen. Labia majora is normal but whereas labia minora is atropic and replaced by leuco leukoplakia. On perspiculum, couldn't be assessed as cervix and vagina is stenosed and on pervaginal examination anterior and posterior vaginal walls replaced by hard indurated edematous mass and vaginal canal uh, stenosed so cannot be reached. So in this case the pap showed high grade squamous epithe intraepithelial lesion that is HETSIL and ultrasound shows bulky uterus with ET of 6.5 mm with multiple fibroids right hydronephrosis and simple cyst of left lobe of liver. RFT is deranged and also electrolytes are deranged for which uh, corrections are given. CT showed bulky cervix, infiltration of posterior inferior wall of bladder, vesicouretric junction causing hydrouretronephrosis and also there is a liver a lesion in the liver suggesting of metastasis and also Enlarged parametrial, retroperitoneal and mesenteric nodes enlarged. Okay. So, what is CIN? So, CIN is defined as pre-malignant lesion of the cervix. Of the cervix. What is the pathogenesis of CA cervix? Pathogenesis of CA cervix is uh, most probably 95% are squa uh, squamous uh, cell carcinomas. Squamous cell carcinomas and 5% uh, are adenocarcinomas and it occurs in a uh, transformation zone that is uh, mm -hmm. squamous columnar junction. Okay. So, what do you understand by downstaging of CA cervix? So, downstaging is where the paramedical person is trained uh, to stage the uh, which CA cervix is there 
uh, staging and based on that they refer to the higher centers. So that is called down staging of CA cervix. So for the early detection in cases of low resource settings. Uh, what are the methods used for the screening of CA cervix? So uh, CA cervix methods are VIA that is visual inspection of acetic acid, VILI that is uh, visual inspection of Lugol's iodine and pap smear and uh, liquid based cytology and colposcopy. Okay, can you explain each one of them? So pap smear, this is a screening test for pre-malignant and malignant lesions of cervix. So the cervix is visualized under cuscus speculum and under bivalve, uh, bivalve speculum and using IS spatula endocervix sample is taken from the ectocervix and with cytobrush sample is taken from the endocervix. The cells are smeared over the glass slide uh, using solution of 95% ethanol and ether in 1 is to 1 mixture and kept in coplex jar. Alternatively, the smears uh, may be fixed with uh, fixer to spray. So they are stained using uh, papini Stain. stain and examine mm -hmm. and uh, coming to liquid based cytology the cells are scraped using a special broom and collected in a uh, liquid and transported that liquid is transported and then uh, it is processed and smear of mono layer of cells is made and fixed and uh, uh, the advantage of liquid based is that all the cells and blood can be removed and also HPV uh, testing can be done in uh, liquid based cytology. What is Bethesda system of classification? So Bethesda system uh, consists of uh, uh, atypical squamous cell, ASC and atypical squamous cells of undetermined ASCUM that is ASCUS and uh, atypical squamous cells cannot exclude HCL that is ASCH and also low grade uh, uh, intra, uh, squamous intraepithelial lesion that is LCL and high grade intra, squamous intraepithelial lesion that is HCL and also squamous cell carcinoma and atypical glandular cells not otherwise uh, specified and atypical glandular cells suspicious for uh, AAS or cancer, adeno, adenocarcinoma in situ AAS. 